Hi, it's John. It's the 19th of um, May 2014 and everything's blossoming, flowering, growing, abundance, time of abundance. And uh, here's how the broad beans are going. I'm pleased. Um, a few, they're, they're a bit thick, and I might thin them out a bit, plant some out in another row, but they're not too bad, and it's not too weedy either, which is a big relief, because that is a pain, and I could actually weed that with a few bits of cooch coming up. Something has been having a go, though, there, look, there's one there, something having a go. I don't know what it would be, because rabbits don't eat, really eat broad beans. I did notice something I've been having a bit of a go, but uh, another up there, I think it might be a mole, where the mole has gone underneath. So I've got a few moles, so I'll have to bring a few bottles, more bottles on sticks, I think, and see the mole runs. That's why, with the onion sets here, I've uh, put a lot more bottles in, because the I could see the moles were running under there. Um, but the onion sets have done well. Uh, it's funny because you plant them in rows like they are now, but each time you come down here a bit earlier on, the rows had moved. Um, I know one thing happens is blackbirds dig them up because they're looking for a worm underneath. They think it's a stone and they can find a, a, a worm underneath. Um, but uh, I don't know what, what digs them up. Something digs them up. And all the rows get all over the place. And there'll be about eight out of place. And uh, and um, me and Helen have, um, have sorted out these rows a few times. And I've hoed through as well. So that's, that's helped that. So I'm really pleased with these onion sets. I've got some old onion sets that... Um, some old onions that I planted that have been over in over winter and we're eating those as sort of like summer onions. Now with the summer onion you can eat a lot of the green like uh, spring onion. So uh, you can um, get a lot of uh, summer onion, a lot more. You don't just go for the bulb, you go for the whole lot. I cooked some up with some, um, some, some venison yesterday. Right, anyway that's it for now. I'm going to put the uh, previous video on the back of this, so if you've seen the previous video, you know you need to watch it. If you want to see when we planted these, you can do. Right, bye. Go. Hi, it's John. It's the uh, 19th of April 2014, and uh, we've got all this land here rotivated, which is where I've had the sweet corn last year, and I was going to be giving it up, but the person who was going to take it decided they had too much on, so I've got it again, which is nice. Um, so I've rotivated it, and now I'm using one of my favourite tools, it's a little drag, drag hoe, and it, uh, this is a small one, so it doesn't take much effort, and I'm just using it as a rake really and raking the stuff off and the tines are just smashing the soil up a little bit and creating a till and um, we're getting all the lumps and rubbish up here which I, I shall just put into the side. This is uh, very much functional gardening to create food and uh, products. And Helen is here with me, helping to do the work. And we've just swapped over. I've got the camera now. And uh, what um, what were you hoping we might have planted, Helen? Um, broad beans. Broad beans. Mm, my favourite. Aha. And I've also brought some onion sets down to put in. And. Uh, I'm just going to chuck it all about, chuck them all around and 
what grows grows. Right, well I've been using the, the drag hoe and we've got an area about 5 metres by 5 metres raked down, uh, drag hoe and then using this rake which um, I bought this for my brother years ago and then when he went to America he didn't want to take it with him so he gave it me back and that's about 20 or more years ago. But the good thing about a good solid rake is that you can obviously rake with it forwards but you can also push with it. So if I want to get all this rubbish right up to the edge of the fence here, like this one, I'm going to leave a gap, you can use it to push it up, which is something you don't often think of with a rake. Now we've got a big, a good big bucket of uh, broad bean seeds. They're um, ones that we've saved, so there's no shortage of them. And Helen's just scattering them about. I've done it before and, and then I rake them in. Saves all that bothering about with rows and everything. And they can look after themselves. And the first, you want to get broad beans in early. And then, then they avoid black fly. Of course, if you can get them in in the autumn, um, then you, they're, they're even more uh, black fly resistant. But um, you can uh, you can normally get away with it planting them. It's the um, 19th of April today, so and then you can pick, pinch the tips out when they get bigger. So that's a good big area. Um, I haven't had any luck with freezing broad beans because my freezer broke down when I had a lot frozen and then after they'd been defrosted they didn't taste so nice. You're looking forward to eating some broad beans are you Helen? I am indeed. So we've covered over the broad beans, raked them in and poked a few odd ones in. Now I've prepared another piece of land here about five metres by four metres for putting onion sets in. They're stir on and somebody gave them to me. They had them spare and uh, they're, they're some nice onion sets actually, nice and firm. They haven't sprouted yet. I've uh, made a line with a cane and put one one row in. Um, I'm putting about three inches apart and then I think I'll put the rows about a foot apart. That's from my memory, what you put them as. Well, this is Easter Saturday. Uh, traditionally, people say about planting potatoes on Good Friday. Um, but this year, Good Friday is a bit late, but I haven't got any potatoes planted, well, I've got not properly, I haven't got any potatoes planted properly yet. These, uh, these are going in quite nicely though, these, um, these onion sets. About one, two, three, four, on the fifth row now. I'm using the cane to mark out the rows. These plants we've got about, these are caper spurge, the mole plant, keep the moles away. Um, We've got the onions all planted. Oh, there's about 20 and 20 and 30 in a row. Just count up the rows, Helen. How many rows there are of onions there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Nine rows, and I think it's about 30, isn't it, on a row? Um, do you want me to count? <laughs> so about no, don't matter. About 300. Be about 300, uh, 300 onions there, Helen. Well, that'll keep us going, won't it? A bit of onion <laughs> soup. Plenty of onion soup. <laughs> onion um, chains, what are they called? Onion um, plats. Yeah. Hanging on the staircase. Oh, yeah. Here's the onion sets we put in about a month or six weeks ago. Um, Helen's weeded them about twice or three times now. Um, best to keep on top of the weeds. They're doing alright. They might uh, they might come properly or they might go to seed. I don't think they were very good any insects. I think they're a bit old, but um, we'll have something off them. Euphorbia's got some nice colour.
globe artichokes have done very well this year. Winter hasn't knocked them at all. Anyway, bye for now. <laughs>